Hey guys, Hawkeye here. Today we're going to take a look at the new double tree stand. Uh, this was added yesterday. I've got it in my Whiteheart Island uh, golden tree stand area. Uh, I just replaced a single tree stand with this one. Important facts, uh, it has good visual camo. It has excellent scent reduction so it matches the single player tree stand in that regard um, when you place it on a tree it, it does go to the same height oh boy we might call that in just to take a look here Anyway, it would go to the same height as uh, your single tree stand would. I'll show you back here this uh, marker flag. So between this marker flag and about a little bit before the tent, it's about six, seven meters, is your actual blind spot uh, behind the tree. And I tested this with the single tree stand and lining up the right seat of the double tree stand and they match they're the same uh, it's going to be irrelevant soon because you will be able to switch seats as of right now when you enter the tree stand as a host you're going to be entering the right seat your buddy would enter the left seat uh, as of right now you do not have the ability to switch seats but EW has announced already that they are working on that capability. So uh, with that in mind, understand that um, sitting in the right seat would give you the same visibility around the tree as a single tree stand would. Um, and then when they add that capability, you'll have 360 degree view around the tree stand. So owning a multiplayer tree stand and hunting as a single player would be a massive advantage. Now, of course, if you're going to hunt multiplayer, uh, your advantage is going to be putting two people in a tree. That's a uh, that's a big deal. If you want to put that over a bear feeder, hog feeder, put it over turkey decoy setup like this, uh, this would be a a pretty nice way to do it. Aesthetically, I think it's a pretty neat design. It's not one that I've seen in real life. I don't know if there is one like it in real life. I have um, seen double tree stands. I actually have hunted a double tree stand for about the last seven years uh, with my wife, but they aren't angled around the tree the way this one is. They're usually just a flat platform around the tree. So if they came up with this design themselves, um, kudos. Kudos to the developers for that because I think it's uh, an ingenious design. I think it's pretty cool um, how it, it wraps around the tree, which would give you more visibility and allow two hunters to cover 360 degrees or one hunter switching from seat to seat. Now, the first thing you'll notice, the big difference here uh, in a single and double is these big gun rests here that go around the hunter. If you crouch down, they're in your way visibly. They, they obstruct some of your vision. You can see that right in front of the hunter and then over here as you look to the other other side and then below you if you were to go to full draw below this mesh um, you've got some mesh obscuring your view right under you. I will uh, play some footage of me shooting a deer that came up you know, pretty close under the tree stand that, that didn't have any problems. And we'll try to call all of these elk in and see if uh, they cause any issues as far as 
if they allow this metal to get in the way. You are able to shoot right down to the roots, and, and I'm not sure if they'll get all the way under that, but we will find out. You can see uh, I've got turkey decoys here, one of these bulls. Go to full draw from those, see what it looks like. See as you zoom in, this becomes less of an issue. Same over here to the tom, and then to the other hen on the other side. Looks almost like it's got me leaning over it to take this shot. And I think that I could take it. Um, I, I don't think that the arrow is going to hit anything. Let's go ahead and take it. Yep, not a problem. Other than probably spooking other bulls. I, I don't think they ever committed... There was a, the other one was at the edge of Brendan. I don't think he ever came. So uh, it doesn't look like it's going to be an issue as far as being able to shoot through it. It'll obscure your vision a little, but you can shoot through it without a problem. So another uh, suggestion uh, that I had heard or read on the forums, I completely agree with is uh, I would like to see them add the ability or add, add some way to differentiate your single tree stand from your doubles uh, as far as maybe a different icon or some way to tell, especially if, if you're somebody that's uh, got a lot of tree stands and uh, you, know, you want to be able to know, just look at the map, which ones were double setups and which one single or your hosting multiplayer that way people that join your game know without you having to you know draw around them every time you go into the hunt. Uh, I think that's a, a crucial adjustment needs to be made. Okay. That confirms that. You can shoot straight through the map. That's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope it helps you make a decision uh, whether or not to purchase the double tree stand. It is 620 EMs uh, compared to 420 for the single with the added benefit of getting another hunter up there with you. And then eventually added benefit of 360 degree visibility around the tree. It is a good visual camo, excellent scent camo, and um, it is the same wobble reduction as a single tree stand. So you have that too. So that's it. Thanks, guys.